for UVA. Two defensive-minded coaches. Uh, South Carolina has not been as good on the defensive end as they've been in the past. Dak Salt in his fifth season in the program with the board. It's uh, really hard to speed Virginia up. They go at their pace. They know what they want to do. Yep. The Akite. Yes. The Akite turns it over. Third turnover for Virginia. Asani Gravick gets it to Roll Hall. He's a great ball handler, perhaps even better on-ball defender. Here he is, just a freshman, lightly recruited. And that one touched every part of the rim. Impressive in their man-to-man -man defense. I can't imagine them not just sitting on that right hand, forcing everything left, no matter if it's wide open for left. Tough shot. The touch. Not usually an offensive threat. Goes up with the left, and there's a follow from DeAndre Hunter. Ty Jerome got some space on Hinson. And the shooting slump continues for Virginia as a team. Lawson dishes. Hinson will turn it into a two. Smart. South Carolina trying to close the gap with their best player on the bench in Silva. Jerome with a step. Got it. What a hesitation. Key tried to fit it in. Gravit got his hand on oh, it. Right to Jerome. Well, Jerome, we've talked about, has struggled shooting, but he now has two layups in good. Marco Anthony, the sophomore from San Antonio. Frank got it deep. His first bucket. You know what? A lot of coverage. Third layup in for Ty Jerome on the backdoor cut, and that's how you can attack. The freshman Clark drove to his right hand. Kick to Jerome for three. Got it. Ty Jerome suddenly has 11. They bring a double on him. Tried to step through it. Had it blocked by Diakite. Ends up with Gravit. Off the glass. They're so comfortable with the ball. Just as I say that. <laughs> turnover. Yeah. Fourth turnover for Virginia. And the breakaway ends up in a bucket for Keyshawn Bryant. Clark gets it to the high post. Wow. Nice look. Well, there's the other side of the equation. I thought he was uncovered for a half second, didn't he? Tiakite comes up with the block. Silva trying to muscle it up blindly with the left now. It's his first field goal, and it comes 14 minutes into the game. Somehow found it. Salt lost it. And Tony Bennett's wondering why he could come back from the baseline. Corner three falls in. Kyle Guy with the answer. There's that confidence you talked about. Well, you knew Gravit wasn't going to be shy. Getting a little fired up here at Colonial Life Arena. It's like South Carolina's back in the ACC, this rivalry. And it's a big three from Alonzo Frank. Wow. They leave Jerome unguarded. I'm surprised they're not, even though Jerome has struggled shooting, why wouldn't you go get him? Because And you better get to the, understand where it is. And when he lobbed it in, it was an easy interception for Virginia. Clark skipped past to Ty Jerome. Got it. He's having a solid first half. Here. Their starting center is out with a concussion, also from practice. DeAndre Hunter was very quiet in that first half. You mentioned... Quiet night for Hunter. He had two fouls in the first half. Only one bucket. Look at that. Spin and a flush. Yaka. Keyshawn Bryant. To Hase. Here comes Campbell. Straight ahead three. Felipe Hase gets a triple. That cut covered. <laughs> and they had him. Salt just didn't have the ball in his hands. Well enough to hit him, but uh, Jerome. Here's Hunter, beautiful look, Salt with the jam. Wow. And cutting. But that takes, again, great leadership out front. 353rd in the country in average time of possession. And it turns into an and one. Diakete throwing some uppercuts. Your heels. Guy gets it back. He'll fire. <laughs> They're fun to watch. Third three for Kyle Guy. Really it's fun when you talk to these guys about how these games come about because generally speaking, it's, well, my my buddy needed a game. <laughs> you know, I like Beeline. He coached with Beeline, gave me a call. 
you hope you shoot the ball well. They are 35% from the field, and that just won't get it done against a team like the Cavaliers. Leadership out front. Good ball movement. It ends up in a three from the corner. You know, I talked with a couple of coaches this year who are running the pack line defense. It's all of its success because they don't, they don't turn the ball over. And now they get a run out and an easy deuce for Braxton Key. Close for South Carolina. Coming off of a game against Michigan from the Big Ten. Here's Henson. And Henson takes it off the glass. Lonzo Frank missed the first six games of his South Carolina career with a knee injury. Quickly to Silva. And he draws a foul. Run the show. And he's not afraid. That's what's fun. Gavitt tried to hang. Freak and one. Key with the extra pass. Guy passed up the shot. Now fade away. <laughs> Just come up with every shot on every big possession. <laughs> Jerome. If you don't guard him, you don't just give up shots. Silva finds a step and a jam. It was a token press, but it's still pressure. Easily handled. And Braxton Key knifes his way in. Here's Guy for three. Stepped right into it. And straight, true road games. Including a road win at Maryland earlier this season. Three ball over Silva, chance for four. And Silva's fourth. Together quite well, too. They almost wait till they know that guy's ready to shoot. Silva running jump hook. Four. Now he's got Silva on him, and it's a mismatch. All day. 25 now for Jerome. He shot 90%. And that was just three years ago. Yeah. Right? It's not like saying, oh, that's something that they did back in the 70s. Right. Just grab it. South Carolina's got Clemson coming to town next. at Saturday on ESPN2. Then they get into SEC play going to Florida on January 5th. It won't be easy for Frank Martin's squad, but they need to get healthy. Meanwhile, Virginia can just get some rest and go after it again.